Hi, my name is Ann Williams. Most of you may know me as your physical therapist. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years. In working with my patients, I've learned that trauma is a built-in part of our pain every day. So I'm here to introduce you to a series of exercises called TRE, Tension and Trauma Releasing Exercise. It's a simple series of exercises that help us release our trauma and tension. It does this from our brain stem by causing our body to tremor. TRE was developed by Dr. David Berselli about 20 years ago. He discovered that we have a built-in reflex that will help us release the trauma that we hold inside our bodies. And so with no further ado, I'm going to give you a short demonstration of these exercises. It's important to remember that you should begin TRE with a trained professional, but I wanted to introduce you to the idea so that you have an idea of what I can do for you. Now I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the TRE exercises, just to give you a taste of what it's like. And so you can see that these exercises are not too difficult. In each instance, I would want to, except for the first exercise, fatigue my leg to a 70% level. That's fatigue, not pain. And so I'm not gonna go all the way through that series of fatiguing my legs because that would take quite a while. But I'm going to at least give you a demonstration of each of the exercises. So the first exercise that we do in TRE is a grounding exercise. We're simply gonna place our legs hips distance apart letting our knees be slightly soft. We're going to roll onto the sides of our ankles and take a deep breath. And roll our ankles to the other side and take a deep breath. And repeat several times. When we're done with this grounding exercise, we're going to, add, we're going to shake out our legs. The next exercise we're going to do is to fatigue our calf muscles. And so what I'm gonna ask you to do in this case would be to rise up on a single leg. And you'll continue to rise with a straight knee until you are 70% fatigued. When that occurs, you shake out your leg and repeat on the other side. Rise up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, until you reach 70% fatigue and shake it out for me. So you can see that's not a very difficult exercise. The next one is a little bit more difficult. What we're gonna be trying to do is fatigue our quadriceps and our glutes. And so you may take hold of a wall and I find it's best to have something to hold onto in front and on the side. And so you're going to sit back and rise up and sit back and rise up and sit back and rise up until my leg is 70% fatigued and then I'll shake it out. Of course it takes longer than that but this is just a short demo and so the other side sit back and rise and sit back and rise and sit back and rise when I'm finished, I shake that leg out. The next exercise in this series is a stretch for our inner thighs. And so what I'm going to do in this case is leaving my knees slightly soft and bent. I'm going to fall forward, letting my head relax and take three deep breaths. Breathing deeply. And then I'm going to stretch to one side and take three deep breaths here and stretch to the other side and take three deep breaths here. And then I'm going to reach my hands through my knees, letting my head relax and take three deep breaths. And I'm going to place my hands on my knees and roll up and shake out my legs. The next exercise is to stretch the abdominal muscles, the psoas muscle, 
the rectus abdominis, and the obliques. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, letting my knees be soft, place my hands in the small of my back, press my belly forward, and lift my chest, and take three deep breaths here. Then I'm going to turn to the side and press my opposite hip forward and take three more deep breaths. And then I'm going to rotate to the opposite side, keeping my chest up, take three deep breaths. Return to the center, stretching again, lifting the chest. And then I'm going to stretch out, uh, shake out my legs. The last of the two series of standing exercises um, is we are going to do a wall sit. Now it's important to get your feet far away from the wall. Let yourself slide down. It's important if you're at home, you might want to keep a chair beside you in case your legs get too fatigued. This is the point at which I usually feel some tremoring starting in my legs. When we maintain this position till we are pretty, pretty fatigued, I'm going to push away from the wall, lean straight forward, keeping my knees soft. Maintain this position for a minute. Roll up. The next series of exercises takes place on the floor. Just watch. I'm going to lie down and place the soles of my feet together and pull them up towards my buttocks as much as I can. And I'm going to just rest here for a moment. The next thing that you'll be wanting to do is lift your hips in this position. And we're going to maintain this for about a minute. Now we're gonna let our hips relax down. Take our feet slightly away from our body. And I'm gonna ask you to raise your knees about two inches towards each other and hold that position. Once you've held that position for about two minutes, I'm gonna ask you to bring your knees a few inches closer together and hold that position. And repeat one more time, bringing your legs closer together. Once I've maintained this third position for about two minutes, I'm going to take my feet slightly away from my body and I'm going to place my feet on the floor. You'll notice that my body is tremoring ever so slightly It's good to tremor for about 15 minutes, but if at any time it becomes too much for you, you're going to simply bring your legs down and pull your ankles back, and this will stop the tremoring. When you're done tremoring, you'll just roll over and relax in a relaxed position for about 10 minutes to let your body integrate the central nervous system. If you'd like to learn more about TRE, it's important that you do it with a trained professional. I can now offer classes online to individuals or we can perform this technique on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Give my office a call, 540-987-9390.
look forward to helping you all out